Today we will be installing the walk beam kit in a four inch square door rail. So once you have opened up your walk beam kit, some of the main components are the adjuster block, the adjuster screw, some washers, the PVPL, and your walk beam. Now assembling the sub-assembly that will then fit into the door rail, we'll take the adjuster screw and two of the shim washers and then fit up that into the adjuster block. If two washers does not work, you can remove one and then just slide it in place. The next step is to then install the adjuster screw to your PVPL. And now as you can see that this PVPL is taller on one side. You have a wide ridge and then a thin ridge. You want this thin ridge facing the bottom of your adjuster block. So now that you have your sub-assembly assembled, we'll want to remove the end cap from the door rail. We will do this by using a Phillips screwdriver. Now all we need to do is slide the assembly in the base of the door rail. And then we just want to line up the holes through the adjuster block with the threaded holes in the door rail. Next we will tighten down the adjuster block with 832 fasteners. We will be applying thread locker to each fastener and then using a 330 seconds Allen key to secure the block to the base of the door rail. So the next step is ensuring that the gap between the adjuster block and the PVPL is a quarter of an inch. And that is to ensure that the pivot center line is two and five eighths from the edge of the end cap. If it is not a quarter of an inch, you can adjust the PVPL. You can turn the adjuster screw clockwise to move the PVPL closer to the end of the door rail, which would decrease your pivot center line, or counterclockwise to adjust the PVPL away from the end of the end cap, which would increase your pivot center line. Once you have your PVPL adjusted, you'll want to use the quarter 20 pusher screw and install it in the threaded hole that is at the base of the door rail. This screw does not need Loctite applied as it already has a nylock patch applied to it. We'll use a 3 16 T handle and just start this fastener into the door rail. We do not want to over tighten this fastener as they will tighten each one of the pusher screw fasteners whenever this rail is applied to the glass. After that, we will want to install the end cap back onto the end of the door rail. We'll start the end cap screw and then using a Phillips screwdriver, tighten the end cap onto the end of the door rail. So now once everything is installed, you are left with the walk beam pivot and in this box there is the door component and also the header component of the walk beam pivot. These will not be uh, applied onto the door rail as the end user will need to gain access to the pusher screws to tighten the door rail onto the glass. The other items that are left in the kit are the header components that can be used to install the header portion of the lock beam pivot into a header. 